so my camera's crooked. Oh well. Um, so I've been doing an online rally course at Every Dog Dog Training Center, and we've been working on these signs. And, and if you have questions about what rally obedience is, you can look, um, I'll put some info down here, but it's essentially moving obedience in the same way that agility is a course. When you do that course and you go through those obstacles um, and you're doing it for time, rally is a very similar sport in that it's a course that you do for time, but instead of going over these jumps and through tunnels, you're doing moving obedience. So sit, heel, down, um, walk around your dog, all sorts of fun things. So um, we've been doing this class and one of the signs was a down, I'm sorry, it was a sit, and you walk around your dog. And so I thought that that would, uh, a good trick that I teach in some of my classes is asking the dog to sit or down and you walk a circle around your dog. So we're gonna try that today. I'm going to demonstrate with Captain who already knows the trick. And then we're gonna go ahead and teach it to my cat Rohan, who's 13, she has arthritis. And as a teacher, I think it's really important to see the learning process. And since we're still here in quarantine and I cannot borrow a dog who uh, does not know this skill already. I think it's fun to watch Captain do it, but it's more uh, useful, I think, to the students if they can watch me teach it. And if I can teach it to a 13-year-old cat, I promise you, you can teach this to your dog at home today. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find a space where you can see, and I'm going to make sure that there is room between him and the wall so I can get around. I'm gonna ask him to down, because this is easier for him Stay. I'm gonna do. Yes. Stay. Good boy. Were you watching? Did you get that? So now we're going to try it with the cat. Yeah. Stay. Rowie. Come on. Touch. So she knows touch. Rowan. Yes. I'm going to put her in position, which is here. And to sit. Yes. I'm going to ask her to stay. This is something that I taught her in the puppy class. Stay. I'm just going to do a step to the front. Yes. So the way I teach stay is I always come back to the animal's front. So when I teach her stay, I can go here, I can go here, I can do a do -si do I can leave the room and come back, but I always come back with my feet facing her about a step away. Sit. Stay. Two steps. Yes. She's a little older, so it takes her a minute to eat. I'm gonna try to go the other direction. Rohan, stay. Yes. Now your animal might not even let you get that far. You might discover that your animal is more comfortable with you going one side compared to the other. That's normal. Stay. This is usually where it gets a little tricky, is coming around the back. I'm gonna try the other way. Good job, you're doing great. Stay. You're doing great, sweet buddy. Rowie, yes. Now I know your puppy might be a lot more squirmy than an arthritic cat, but I think it's important for you to try it. Try baby steps. It might take you a week before you can take one or two steps to the left and then one or two steps to the right. If you have a bigger dog, like a Great Dane, um, it might take you longer to get around their back end. Uh, your dog might be more comfortable like Captain is in a down position for this trick. So why don't you try it? Play around with a sit, play around with a down, try going down their left side, try going down their right side, um, try at different speeds. Um, and remember, like with Captain, he did the exorcist head. Ooh, like that's totally fine. I don't want them to pop up and turn around. They can move their neck all they, all they want. And the hardest part usually is when they're laying down is getting around that back end when they're, you're directly opposite where you started your dog at their tail. 
That tends to be the hardest part of this trick. So if you can get past there, you're golden. Give it a shot and let me know how it goes.